Okay, you guys, um, I'm a little hoarse today. Don't know why. Um, <clears throat> so if my voice sounds a little uh, like that, <laughs> um, that's because I've been screaming a lot, basically. Um, summertime is full of screams and having fun with friends. Yeah. Um, so since uh, we're, we've passed the halfway point to uh, the start of winter, I wanted to start getting you guys excited for some winter action. <coughs> Oh, yep, that's a good example of my horse. Um, I wanted to give you guys an example of some winter action. Um, this was um, here, where I live. Uh, January, 20 something is. Uh, we got about 10 inches of snow, pretty nice. Um, it was the most, actually, uh, the first snow we got of that. Always the first snow is the best snow, just because it's kind of like that first moment. This was about the second of, like, five snowstorms I think we got. Um, so, it was a big nor'easter. Um, most of our winter storms happened in February and, um, uh, March, but there was one in March that gave us about an inch, and then there was two in February that gave us about an inch, and then we got, like, three inches in early January, and about ten inches in late January. So, I mean, we don't get generally that much snow. We usually get about six inches here uh, annually. So, pretty nice, as uh, most places did tend to do uh, last winter. Um, here's another photo. This one's my personal favorite, because this is, like, this is actually later in the day. It had a chance to melt. Or, actually, I think this was two days later. It had a chance to melt a little bit. But this is, like, fresh in the morning after the storm was just done. And I just love that, like, fluffy look that, um, you get when you look at the top of bushes or something. And look at them snow drifts, like, right there up against the tires of my car. And yeah, that literally is my car. Fifteen, it got a car, okay? Um, anyway. <laughs> yep, uh, beautiful picture. You could tell it was windy. Um, uh, quick tip, if you want to tell it was windy during a snowstorm, look at the roofs. That's where I tend to look. Um, if it's, like, only about three inches on the roof, or even less, you know it was pretty windy. If it's, like, full, full snow on the roof, then you know it wasn't windy because there was nothing to shove it off. But it definitely did get shoved off here in this situation, because you can see there's only about two inches of snow, maybe even less, there, um, on this roof over here. Nice snowstorm. Um, here's a snowman I built. That, uh, so funny, um, and if you're wondering the way we gave it a structure, like, right here, to hold this whole thing up, was actually, um, what we did was we got ice off the pool cover, off our pool, and it was about one to two inches of ice, and we just stuck it right there, and that was enough to hold up the entire snow, that's, it was pretty nice, so definitely use ice to your advantage if it's, um, if it's a resource when making snowmen, so you can see this one looks pretty, uh, I don't know what we were thinking with the, the arms, but it's still pretty funny. Okay, let's get on to the forecast. We're going to start off with temperature forecasts. Oh yeah, this is my fall forecast, by the way, but you can probably tell. Um, slightly above average temperatures here from Texas all the way up into North Dakota and parts of Montana. And then as we extend um, west, we get into these above average temperatures in this region. And then well above average temperatures, which is about 4 to 6 degrees above average Slightly below average temperatures from um, western Minnesota all the way down into um, Mississippi, then into Florida. Then we got below average temperatures from uh, eastern Minnesota all the way down into South Carolina. Then well below average temperatures um, from extreme eastern Minnesota down into almost all of Ohio. And that's, um, when we see well below average temperatures, that's, like I said, 4 to 6 degrees. This, um, when we see just below or above, um, that is 2 to 4, and then, um, 0 0.1 to 1 inches, or 1, um, 0 0.1 to 1 degrees. Um, or to 2 degrees, or to, uh, 2, yeah, 2 degrees. Now let's check out the precipitation forecast. We're seeing this trend, if you've watched my winter forecast, where the east is cold and the west is warm. Um, kind of, the fall last year was warmer 
in the uh, west and cooler in the east. Um, I do think that um, there's it's going to be similar cold in the east. I'm not talking about winter. What am I doing? Um, I'll be updating my winter forecast tomorrow or tonight. I'm just going to kind of talk about it. Uh, no new maps, but I'm definitely going to re-bring them up and uh, talk about it. So, check about uh, this is the precipitation forecast. We've got, uh, I think that we've got a good chance for a second severe weather season to kick in in these portions. A lot of the severe weather outbreaks this year have been in this region. But I do think that second severe weather season is going to be uh, generally this year. Um, good drought relief we're getting here in California. It is definitely a uh, blessing to see uh, some wonderful rain in California. Um, really good stuff. Um, nor'easters heading up the coast, just like last year. I'd say maybe uh, three to four nor'easters from sep August, September, October, November, um, and early parts of December. We could see uh, two to four nor'easters head up the coast. And give these areas, I mean, nor'easters generally give me one to two inches of rain here in Virginia Beach. So, I mean, a couple of these can really up our average, really up our average. Uh, to get uh, even more than just two can up our average by a lot. So, uh, generally something you want to look for. Dry conditions in here. Um, <laughs> most of the model trend is looking at that and everything. Um, Northwest, we're just going to have... Uh, the southern stream is definitely not going to be up here, so that's why um, these portions aren't going to see a lot of rain, um, just like last year. Southern stream is going to come up here. If you want some scientific backup to why I think this, um, I'm going to give it to here right here. Uh, with um, a weak to moderate El Nino, we have an active southern stream, and that's going to bring in these uh, a lot of precipitation into these zones which then turn into nor'easters and head up the coast. <coughs> so you're going to want to keep that in mind. Um, that's basically why I think there will be above average precipitation. <coughs> Let's check out when will fall start. Um, I only have a when will fall start map, but basically what I recommend you do if you want to see when fall will end, you just add a month onto whatever it is. Early September in these dark red zones. Um, so the fall will end in early October, since it starts in early September. Early September to mid September in these grayish brownish, this grayish brownish area, also down in here. Mid September to late September in this red um, zone. And then the biggest zone actually is late September to early October in these zones. And then mid October to late or later, um, and then anywhere else they usually don't tend to get falls. Okay, so yep, that's my forecast. Um, I do think that fall is going to start a bit earlier for most of the regions in here. So um, usually I know where I live, it starts in um usually tends to start in um, early to mid-October, but I do think that there's a good shot at us actually um, starting maybe late September, I don't know, but, but I, I do think that early October is when we're going to start to see that uh, color change um, in the southern part of the east, so definitely if you're in the local area, um, expect things to start getting... Um, colorful in early October. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been my preliminary fall forecast. My, um, my, uh, next fall forecast will be out in the beginning of, let's see, late January, or late July, early August. Then the last one will be in, uh, late August, early September. <clears throat> All right, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next winter. I, gu I guess it's going to be a winter thoughts episode this time. Um, I'm going to make my third winter thoughts. Yep, uh, I love winter and I love talking about it. So that's why I'm making so many winter videos. Um, yep, see you guys later. Bye now.